Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how Southside makes hard beats in his signature style, so let's get into it. Alright, so to start off with, I'm just going to show you guys the sample that I've made for the beat and then we're going to do some drums afterwards, so yeah, let's see the sample. <laughs> Alright, so as you can hear, it's very dark sounding, typical of Southside, but yeah, let's get into how I made it. Alright, so to start off with, I'm using this one shot, I think it's a pad, and it's from Max Shooter's kit, and it sounds like this. Alright, so all I've done for this is I'm working in F sharp minor, and with that chord, I'm just playing around with different notes, especially between one semitones. If you go between those two, as you can see on the top ones up here, that always gives off a very dark feel. So yeah, that sounds like this all together. So that does sound very different from the end result, but I'm just going to show you guys what I did on the mixing to get the end result. So first up, I've got a reverb, and then this is the secret source right here. I've got half time, I've got it on half loop, two times mode, and if you put the smooth knob all the way down to the left, it gives off like a bouncy feel, it waves in and out of the effects, it's crazy. And then I've got an EQ taking out the low ends, and then last of all, I've just got this RC Retro 20, and it's just very minor, but it gives it a bit more of like a vintage feel. Alright, so now that we've got all of the effects, this is what it sounds like. Alright, so the next sound we're using is in Analog Lab 5 and it's called Soft Echoes and it's a lead. And I've got that one playing a very simple but repetitive pattern. And for the mixing on this one, I've got it panned to the right ear a little bit. I've also got a reverb, chorus, RC Retro 20, and last of all, I've got an EQ taking out the low ends. Okay, so next up for the bass, I'm using a piano, and it's the Noir Piano in Contact. And all that piano is doing is playing the bass, the root note, on two different octaves. Alright, so next up, we are using the same piano again, and this time we're using it for the lead but we're gonna flip it completely so this does not sound like how it does when you listen to the sample, but this is what it's playing. And all I've done is I've converted it out to an MP3 file and then I've chopped it up and reversed the order of the chops. And once I did that, it sounded like this. And the only other thing I've done is put these faders on just to stop it from clipping when going into the next audio file. Alright, so that is how I made the full loop and now let's get into how I made the drums and then I'm going to show you guys the beat. Alright, so for the 808 I used this really weird distorted sounding 808, I don't even know what kind of 808 it is. You could say it's kind of like a spins but it just sounds really weird and ringy but it's kind of cool, so this is it. And then I've got the 808 playing a very basic pattern. So I've just listened back to that recording that I just made and it sounds a lot more muffled on here than it actually does in the beat. Alright, so next up I'm going to show you guys the snare, the open hat and the hi hat, which is all very simple, but I'm just going to play them all at once. And then also I've got a kick playing on with the 808. So yeah, I'm just using a Rax kick for that one. And then last of all, I'm using the counter snares. I've got two counter snares going on, and they're playing this. And then on the main master, I've got two main things going on. I've got reverb, which I've got on very, very quietly. A lot of people do not agree with reverb, but I think on the right beat, it works. And then last of all, I've got a soft clipper, which I put on near enough every beat, probably every beat. And then also I've got this EQ down at the bottom right here, which is just boosting some of the high frequencies. This just helps really punch out the drums in my opinion. All right, cool. So that's how I made the full beat. And now let's show the beat. So that is how Southside makes hard beats in his dark signature style. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and comment down below what kind of video you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in a bit.